Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new YouTube video and in today's video a brand new patch just dropped So I'm gonna go over everything that is new There's a lot of new things and not just skins. There's a lot of improvements in the game So let's hop into the video and if you enjoy the video make sure to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button Because we have some spicy things coming guys and I'll be covering everything on my channel. So let's go So first things first we have some updates on kinda we've updated kinda skill description to include the attack range What they have also done Done is they have added a new screen effect when hit by phasing arrow which is their ultimate they have also improved the scouting arrow so enemies can by the scouting arrow will now appear on the minimap and not only that the scatter arrow can also now be attached to characters or vehicles and move along with them so that is a huge huge update on that scouting arrow so basically if you hit someone with that arrow they will pretty much be marked even though they move around so that is a huge huge w we have improved some core combat improvements. We've updated the FOV settings, allowing you to set it up to 120. And guys, this is major, major news. Let me show you guys what the difference is between the 90 FOV that we used to have and the 120 that we now have with this update. We also have an improvement for the mobile version. It includes a quick airdrop button allowing you to call for airdrops and redeploy your teammates very quickly, which is very nice. Also guys, we have a brand new lobby. I'm gonna put a before and after on the screen, but I honestly say that the new lobby is much, much better. It's less cluttered and it's more obvious of where to go when you need something. And I do hope that they will keep on improving these UIs because honestly, Bloodstrike is not easy when you first come into the game. The UI is very overwhelming and i feel like with this update that will be less the case all right up next we have some special events so we will have weekly rewards on their way every friday through sunday we will be giving away gifts so invite your friends to join so the first event period is going to be august 31st until september 2nd which is this weekend then it will go away again and it will come back the next weekend on the in the weekend of the 7th of september so we basically get some more free stuff for inviting our friends to blood strike and play with them so this will be literally every week guys i don't know what type of rewards these will be i imagine it's going to be rewards such as ornaments maybe some emos maybe some camos so stay tuned for that up next we have a tutorial overhaul which i'm not going to go too much in depth about because this is really really for the new players that come on board so as you guys can see we have a tutorial overhaul and they are letting us invite new players so you can see that they're working on getting more and more players into the game and uh, they're making it easier for people to join Bloodstrike with the UI update, with the tutorial overhaul, and of course, if you invite your friends, you can play with them and teach them the game. We have some new arrivals, which basically means new skins. Now, first up, we have the Eternal Scar Dominator skin, which we all have already seen, and it looks absolutely insane. I told you guys in my last video, if the video hits 1,000 likes, I will open the skin live on stream, and that is what's gonna happen this upcoming Saturday, guys. It's gonna be around 2 p.m my time which is european summertime i will be doing a schedule so you guys can see what the time zone is for you but it's gonna be absolutely crazy guys we're gonna open up this eternal stash and after that we're gonna do some fun custom rooms again and some viewer games so make sure you join in and i'll see you guys in chat up next we have a new butterfly knife skin called starfall dead star i don't know what it is exactly called we have a little teaser over here now this thing looks extremely extremely good to me it looks very very clean I really like the Synthwave Butterfly Knife that we already have in game, but this one looks next level, not gonna lie to you guys. Are you guys gonna cop it or drop it? Let me know in the comments down below. And up next, we have new legendary skins for the AK-47 and the Desert Eagle. It's called the Hellhound skins, and it's gonna be available and arriving on September 9th, so that is very, very soon. We also have a super sale coming very, very soon, the Ominous M4A1 Death Sentence skin now this is a super sale for 299 gold and they do say it's gonna come soon so i imagine that's gonna be sometime next week uh but we'll have to wait and see up next we have some system optimizations we have the play again has been improved give it a try and team up with your friends for another round they've also added a share button in the weapon page you can now quickly share weapon skins to the chat channel they have also added a switch button in the weapon page making it easier to switch between weapons when adjusting the attachments or appearances once a weapon reaches level 50 using it in matches will earn you universal weapon xp cards which can be used to upgrade other weapons so basically if you do 
reach level 50, you will get rewarded even more by some additional XP cards and this will allow you to upgrade your other weapons to get better attachments. And the reason why they're doing this is again so new players don't have to grind for ever to get good attachments and good weapons i think this is a huge w to improve this xp xp system um because i do know that not everyone has the time to be grinding out weapons all the time so uh very very nice up next we have a streamlined combat tutorial and lower the mission requirements so basically for new players it will be easier to get into the game again and then up next we have an optimization of the design of the ace shooter titles now if you guys don't know what these titles are these are the titles that you get for your region for your country for example if you are top 100 aka player it will look something like this like on my profile and you can basically just grind these ace titles and they look absolutely amazing i really really like this improvement that's a huge w in my book and then up next they've also added the in-game tutorials which we've seen earlier up next we have profile cards are now visible on the main menu and you can view other profile cards while being in a team so that's nice we have the display order of the delete friend and blacklist options has been adjusted for better navigation. Honestly, I think this is a huge, huge W, especially for those annoying people that you block off because they've been inviting you too much. So uh, yeah, very, very nice. Up next, we have an improvement that when you tap on a rename card or an XP card, basically it will show you on how you can get those things. So if you want to have a rename card, if you want to get some XP cards, just tap on it and it will literally show you where to get them. They have added a new effect prompt for auto pickup items after closing the pickup list. And you can now set pickup priorities for trobles and medical supplies in the settings, which looks very, very nice. They have also done some map optimization. So they fixed various bugs in Shutter Island and Desert Valley and they optimized window accessibility which is very very good they've also designated certain areas as outside of the combat zone with a countdown alert to notify players so basically if you are on a zone where you're not supposed to be there's going to be a countdown and if you don't move out of that zone you might actually die and you'll respawn and finally they have enhanced the lightning in desert valley for better visibility so these are all of the kind of like major talking points of what they have improved in this patch honestly there's a lot of improvements here and i really hope we see more improvements like this in the future you can definitely tell that they want to get more people to enjoy blood strike they are making it more newbie friendly and more accessible for everyone and on top of that you can see that they are going to be working on some of the grinding rewards so, such as the ace shooter title such as the leaderboards so hopefully we will also see some rank rewards improvements and maybe some leaderboard improvements i think this is some good steps in the right direction so let me know what you guys think about this new patch let me know in the comments down below and as always i'll keep you in the loop and i'll see you guys soon Bye bye